Alrighty guys, we are back and ready to make soap bags and these are awesome. So I hope you really like this. Um, I'll put this layout in the files as well as the little bath bomb box. Um, people can't say enough nice things about these. These are so simple and so easy. And these I do as I make soap, um, I'm forgetful. So I take my soap couch sheet, I immediately make my bag layout with my ingredients, which are on the back, um, and my batch number, which is on the bottom. I print them out before they're like, you know, sometimes I'll even do it before I make them. Um, I've got my batch number, which I always use the year, month, day I made it, and then which batch it was, and that coincides with a number that's on my soap calc sheet. That all goes into a file folder together. They're flat. Then when I'm ready to give it to someone or send something out, I can just pull that out of the file, fold the bag real quick because they are so easy to fold, and they're pre-done. I don't have to think about, oh, what was that ingredient in that? I gotta make this label or whatever. It's already done, um, already designed for what I want as colors or whatever. So I'll put that in there. It prints on an eight and a half by 11 sheet. If you have a narrow soap, um, you can definitely just narrow it down. You may have to change these lines. You may have to scoot in a box, but if you make a blank like this, and you know, I've even just printed them out in black and white, make a blank, play with it like you know I kind of want my weight to go up a little bit so I may play around with that um, and you have a template and you kind of know where it falls width wise what you'll do is measure your soap width um, this one was for this size bar now I have trimmed this one down um, what you'll do is just find your center point if this is four inches you just want two inches on each side and that will be where your main fold will be. And this is really weird to talk, or yeah, even describe. Um, what you're, you're gonna wanna do is just make sure you have the same amount from your center point to your fold as you do here to here. And basically what it's gonna do is fold to the center. So like on this one, this is trimmed down, I've trimmed I think like three quarters of an inch off each side, just for an example. So if I measure this, it's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and just a tiny little bit. So I'm not even gonna, I'm just gonna kind of scoot it here. Uh, so that would be one, two, three, and a half plus just a little bit. And I just put a little um, tick on it. Then I know where I'm folding to. So you're gonna print it out, turn it face down. You're just gonna fold this into these two spots. And these are very forgiving. Um, and you'll notice like my little wrap around, I make it wide enough that it'll work on a wider one or a narrow one. But you can play around with the layout, make whatever you want. And this one, I'm just gonna fold in to that same area. I really hope you can see that. And I give it a really nice crisp. Actually, I can use my score bone from my other thingies. Then you're going to unfold it. Then you're going to actually want your soap that you're making for it or a soap that's about the same thickness just to gauge it. Um, this one happens to be for a different one that I don't have it, so I'm just going to use my little rainbow heart. Um, and I'm just going to lay that there. And what I'm going to do is just fold that up to that corner. You're going to make your bottom crease. Then unfold it. Bring your soap down to the bottom. Make sure you see that. And you're just gonna do the same exact thing. And basically what you're doing is just gauging the bottom because the distance between here and the one we just made is actually the width of your soap doing it this way. You don't have to measure and figure all that out and play math and magician and 
all that good stuff. Now we have basically what looks like a folded H shape. And this is going to be your front, your back. These are going to be on the inside and you're going to make a diagonal fold here and here and here and here. And to do that, the easiest way I found is to unfold one side. Just bring this up and what you're going to do is just bring this fold to rest on this fold. And you don't have to be super perfect on it. And what it'll do is just make this nice little 45 degree angle so it's folded over like that. And just do the same thing with the other side. And you can let that go, that doesn't have to stay folded. And sometimes it's tricky, I'm not gonna lie. Just bring that there. Kind of fold it, and these I really give a good crease. And push it down and get all aggressive with. And you can see your two little inward, and this is all facing towards the inside of the bag. Just turn it. You're just gonna do the same thing, and I can never get these right. And there's my stripes from the outside. And bring it down. Sorry, you can't see what I'm doing. So, hope everybody's doing well today. It's been a kind of rough day. And I'm sorry for taking so long on the video. Um, yeah, you guys know what's going on, so that's okay. And then just bring that down and do the last one. Give it a mush. Okay. Then you have basically it's folded, folded, and you've got this like how do <laughs> so polar. <laughs> oh, I'm being weird today. It does kind of look like a mouth. And when you bring up your edges, it's gonna make a pocket here and a pocket here. And you're soaked. This one's probably not going to fit because it's actually wider than this. Put on my, my soap that actually fits. Um, your soap will just sit right down in there just like this. And you can kind of see there's my fold, there's my fold. And then you can do so much with this. Okay, this is cute. I really like those stripes. Um, if you bring your top together, and you want to, and totally optional. If you have scrapbook paper, scissor things, if you bring those right together, you can just kind of give this a cute top little cafe edge. Um, kind of jazz it up. We were just talking about, you know, why not? This is your marketing. This is you on a piece of paper. And it's your image in somebody's hand sitting on somebody's bathroom shelf and you never know where a good customer is going to come from. They may see your packaging and say, wow, you know, did you get this at some crazy expensive salon? And your customer should be like, no, I got it off Etsy, you know, three dollars or whatever. And you can punch holes um, here like this one, tie a ribbon through it. You can add I've been dying to use these. Guys, I'm so excited. Where's my rhinestone? No, I don't have what I really wanted. But I have these. Yeah, I'm excited. Now I'm really jazzed. Um, you know, go to Hobby Lobby and look in their little embellishment section. A rhinestone? I'm telling you. Put a rhinestone somewhere like right here and oh my gosh you just made your packaging look like a million dollars like this is a sheet of pearls I was looking for the rhinestones a dollar fifty I think I got them half off so 75 cents for all these little pearls and you know I'm doing this I am gonna put that pearl boom right there actually I should have put it up a little further oh but Holy cow, wow.
and I mean I could put a little piece of just two-sided tape to hold it shut I can put a bow like the other one and you can use a label stickler sticker if you have your logo do a fold over sticker to seal it the nice part is it shows or a farmers market or whatever people can still sniff it they can put their little nasty nose right here and they can smell it but they're not gonna snot bomb it, it it's protected um, and it's ready to gift. I mean, I would take that right over to my mom's house just like that and say, look, I got you a present. It's wrapped. Oh, what is it? No. Look, soap. Ooh. Um, and on the template, it's got, you know, that it is soap. Be careful with your wording. That's actually not really what I wanted to do right there, but it works. I've got my logo. I've got my weight. It's on the bottom third. It's in big type. Really should be Ariel, but <clears throat> yeah. Um, this side I've got my ingredients. I've got my address, my phone number, my Facebook page uh, for the business. And I noticed this is a little off, but that was because I had a printer issue. Actually, it was a brain fart. I cut my paper down to eight inches before I printed them, and it should have been eight and a half, and I tried to fix it. So that's why this one's a weird size and shape. And I've got my lot number on the bottom. But, you know, feel free to make it your own. Um, this actually was an idea I got off to YouTube a long time ago, but they didn't really have ideas on how to lay it out. But she did a great job explaining how to fold it, and I believe it's Down Home Suds on YouTube channel. I'm going to try to link her on my video um, just because she did a phenomenal job explaining it so if you can get lost, um, you know what's going on. So I hope you guys really like these. I hope it's kind of inspirational to a point. Um, Christmas season's coming up, so why not step up the game and really make a beautiful, beautiful product. Um, put your put your babies in people's hands and watch them ooh ah. It's simple. It's the little touches. Oh, I love that pearl. No, I really want to do a whole line of them, but okay. Yeah. So everybody have a great afternoon. Hope you enjoy. Um, we will talk to you later. If you have any issues or need any help, let me know. Um, I'd really prefer if the video link and the word templates did not leave the group. I have a good reason for it. Please, um, please, please, please. If you want to share it to somebody, just give me an email and say, hey, I want to share this to Joe Smith over in Soap Making Group or simply whatever or, you know, that. Yeah. <laughs> so have a great afternoon, guys. Bye.